afternoon, everyone. We're on the rock, Bishop. And not sinking sand. And that rock is? Jesus Christ. God's only son. Yeah. Yes, Lord. I'm Reverend Dr. Evelyn Underwood. And you are, sir? Dr. Bishop King, James Underwood. And we are on the rock this afternoon. And uh, you see me in my red and my black. And today is Saturday, July. 9th, 2016, and we had a lot of things going on this week, and I'm really in mourning, and the black is for mourning, but the red is for the blood of Jesus, and we know that the blood of Jesus will cover everything. The blood of Jesus will cleanse everything. The blood of Jesus will protect our hearts. And I know our hearts all over America is heavy mm -hmm. uh, because in Louisiana, a uh, person was killed. In Minnesota, a person was killed. In Dallas, five officers were killed. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a moment of silence mm -hmm. for the, the families and for their souls. Thank you. Now, everyone, mm. get your Bibles. The Word of God mm. heals everything. All right. The Word of God. Jesus is the Word, Bishop. That's right. <coughs> and Jesus is love. Yeah. And that's what we need more of, love. Amen. Love heals everything, all heals. Is that right? Is that right, Bishop? Yeah, love is fulfilling of the law. Amen, amen. The 16th chapter of St. Matthew's, as every week, beginning at verse 13 to verse 18. Verse 18 is the operative verse, and we have, as you know, the King James Version here. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He says unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are thy Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter. And upon this rock, Bishop, yes, this rock, this rock, this rock, I will Jesus build Christ. my church. Yes. yes. And the gates of hell shall not yes. prevail against it. That's right. Thus read the word of God. Yes. Now at this time, we're going to have our psalmist, Bishop on the Wood, give us a song, and then we're going to introduce to some and present to others mm. our wonderful guests. Amen. Precious Lord. Precious Lord, take my hand. Lead, lead me on, let me stand, I, I'm tired, uh -huh. I am weak, and I am, I'm warm, through the
Precious Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you. That's what we need. Yes. Woo, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. To prepare our hearts. Hallelujah. Oh, to be able to do what we need to do for Jesus. Yes. To yes. be the leaders that we need yes. to be. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Now, it gives me pleasure, Bishop. Yes. Yeah. And it is a privilege yeah. to introduce to some and present to others yes, yes. this man of God yes. in our community. We can say this man of God because we know. Great yes, man of God. Yes. Yes. And the people in this community know because he's proven himself. He's walked it. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's head of Restoration Urban Ministry. Yes, he yes. is. An integrious, I make up my own words, <laughs> organization. But you know what integrity is. Amen. I just added a little more uh, uh, to it. They That's made it right. a, a, not a, a verb, an adverb. There you go. An uh, adjective. <laughs> Praise, <laughs> Praise God. God. Because it's proven itself. So anything they have, we support. Amen. And the community support. We don't have, we know what it is. That's right. Praise God. Because he's walked before the community for years. More than 20 some years. Right, maybe 30 something. Amen. Praise God. So oh, just, uh, uh, <laughs> let me, if you don't talk too much, let okay. him do the talking. Let me introduce uh, to some and present to others, uh, Pastor Irvin Williams, the Executive Director <laughs> of Restoration Urban Ministry. And would you introduce this lovely lady that Praise I've been knowing for many, many years. Praise and will you please do Amen. so, sir, and tell us yes. what you're doing. Yes. Praise God. Tell them, because yes. I know and I'm supporting. We're Praise supporting it, right, Bishop? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. This is Sister Gladys Hunt. I've also known her for many, many, many Amen. years, and she's Amen. counseled with my children. And so I'm just glad to have her on board and, and doing so much for us to helping us at restoration. So it's really an honor, too, to be able to work with her. Praise God. So praise praise God. the Lord. Yeah. Well, I, I guess just briefly, and then I'd like to put it in the hands of Sister Gladys here, is that uh, <clears throat> we've been talking about our upcoming uh, conference that we're having July the 21st, 22nd, and the 23rd. Yes. And uh, it's at Restoration Urban Ministries. 
I am just excited about it. I believe that it's given to us by the Lord. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of things people can do on their own. I try to avoid and really try to get hear from the Lord as far as most things that we do, mm -hmm. because I know that if you've got God with you, mm -hmm. I know that there, everything is gonna come as it ought to. Mm -hmm. Someone once said that except the Lord build the house, <laughs> he that labor, labor in vain. Yeah, and I just believe that so strongly. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe God has put this thing together. We've got people coming from several different states. We also have some people that are going to be here. One, one of our speakers, a, a young lady minister from uh, Puerto Rico. We have a, a, a preacher, pastor that's coming from Nigeria, and then we've got some pastors coming from several other states that'll be here. And uh, our intentions is to prepare people and get them ready for the challenge of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I think as we just briefly about this is that I think we spent too much time sitting on the pews. Yeah. And I know for a lot of us, we tried and we couldn't. But I believe that God has called every believer that at a certain point, you got to get off the pews. Mm -hmm. You've got to be seen. How can we be light to the world unless we take the light out where the world is? Mm -hmm. So yeah. prepping and getting our people ready. And so I think this is one of the things this uh, conference is going to do. Some of the uh, topics, is the first one is stepping out of the familiar, getting off of that bench. You know, we come together on Sunday, we come together on Wednesday, but what are we doing the other five days of the week? What are we doing as far as getting the gospel out? And some of our people tend to feel as though they're not equipped to do so. If you have the Spirit of God in you, and we believe that we're going to bring it out so clearly, that within you reside the ability to take the light out to the world. Now, we may need to do some things, and hopefully that's what's going to happen at the conference, that people will see and feel the calling to take it to the next step. We're going to talk about faith mandates. God called us to be a people of faith. Amen. What we do is built on faith. In fact, the Bible says it's impossible to please God without faith. Amen. And that means that we've got to continue to grow stronger in this faith walk, equipping the saints for the work in the ministry. Another one is unity amongst the ranks. Yeah. The enemy has played havoc with Amen. us and keeping us separated and divided. Amen. And so it's time for that to move on. We're bigger than that. We're Amen. greater than that. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world. We have God. We have the ability to become united and move this gospel forward as God intended. Amen. Integrity. It's time now that we stop making the news, talking about all the stuff we were caught and found doing, that we start living the walk and that we can draw other people because we're actually living it and walking it. And there's a lot of great ministers out there who have people look at them funny and they don't realize they have walked the walk Hallelujah. because a few people did some things they shouldn't. It doesn't mean that everyone, all ministers should be looked at a certain way. We're going to talk about cross-cultural ministry. Now, the sad part about cross-cultural ministry, there never should, never should be a cross-cultural ministry. That our churches is for whosoever will. Yeah. White, black, red, yellow, brown, wherever you come from. That we're able to come together and feel at home yeah. when we're amongst the saints. Our inheritance is amongst the brethren. Yeah. So we should feel comfortable amongst each other. Prayer warring. Yeah. Whether we want to recognize it or not, we're in a battle. Hallelujah. I believe there's a storm on the horizon. Yes. And the storm is coming and the church is going to have to stand mm. up and Hallelujah. be what God ah. called us to be. Yes. And if it means that we've got to take on the weapon tree of spirituality, then we're going to take it on. Ah. And we're not going to lose, mm. but we're going to win. Ah. The victory has already been given to Hallelujah. us. We are more than conquerors. Conqueror. He's yes. done already ah. told us that. Hallelujah. So now it's time to step up into that conquering role and start doing what the Bible says we can do. Amen. Stepping out of the familiar, getting and moving out. Now as we quit people, we want to get them out. What is it that I need to do? How do I get out and start reaching? My neighbors, my family, my friends, on my job. Yes. It becomes important that we start actually doing it and stop talking about it. Mm -hmm. Walking in grace. Because when you get right down to it, it's not what we do. It's what God does in us Hallelujah. and through us. Yes. So that I cannot brag. I cannot boast. See, I'm convinced that God can still set a monkey in my chair and, and do exactly what I do if he's anointed by God. All right, as man. long as God's anointing up on him, he did it with a donkey. He can do it with me.
And so getting us to the place of learning to walk in God's grace. And then lastly, God wants us well. Yes. God yes. wants us well. Yes. So one of the things that we've been doing at Restoration and we're bringing also to the conference is our Healing Cafe. And Sister yes. Gladys is going to share some about the Healing Cafe. Right, right. We have been uh, in prayer and fasting since February when God put this on Pastor's heart that he wanted us to have a healing cafe right there at Restoration Urban Ministries, right for our community. Yeah. And again, it's for the community. It's yes. for the entire community. Yeah. If we look at our community here in the Champaign-Urbana vicinity, we see so much hurt, so much pain, mm. so much yes. crime and healing. And, I yes. mean, uh, murders and things of that nature. We need to pray. We, mm -hmm. Our community needs to be healed. So yeah. what we've done is put together this healing cafe. It's a special healing service that's going to be at the end of the conference. And what we do in the healing cafe is we provide a healing atmosphere, mm. a nurturing atmosphere for people to come. We want the community to come. We want churches to come. We want anybody to come that feels like they need healing in their life. And we provide a wholeness atmosphere. Do you want to be healed, spirit, soul, and body? Yes. So we provide stuff for each one of those areas. Uh, we have, uh, we'll have our Nutribullets out. We, we make uh, healing uh, smoothies. We show people how to have nutritious snacks. And we have people there talking about how to read food labels. Many of us shop, we go to the stores, we know nothing about the food, what's in the food that we eat. So we have people there to show us that. Uh, we have things like uh, our prayer room ah. where we have warriors. We've invited churches to come. Bring your intercessors. Yes. Bring your prayer, prayer warriors and pray for people so that they might be healed. Yes. This is God's wish for all yes. of us. It's, Jesus, he started out his ministry when he opened the scrolls. He said he came to heal the brokenhearted. Ah. There are so right. many brokenhearted people out there that yes. need healing. Mm. So we have a prayer room for them to come and get prayed mm. for. We have a cafe atmosphere. We have healing music in the background. Uh, it's just a wonderful atmosphere for, pe for people to come and be a part of. Yeah. Uh, we have simple things like smoking cessation. Uh, we have, uh, we cater to people if they need emotional healing, mm. maybe something mental is going on, so they can come to the cafe and talk about that and get prayed for and be healed. And um, we have all kind of... Addictions. And for addictions, absolutely. Oh. We have a recovery in Christ ministry at Restoration Urban Ministries, but we also have materials from places like Prairie Center and, and other churches uh, where people can come and work with those kind of issues in their lives so they can be set free. God wants us free. Amen. And this is an uh, uh, atmosphere where people can come and seek that wholeness, seek that, that to be free and to be healed and mm. to be healthy. And so we just invite the community, come on out, be a part of it. It's a special healing service. And I believe everybody that comes through the door will be blessed. Amen. Uh, we, we have giveaways uh, like herbal teas um, and other things, just helping people understand what it means to live a healed, healthy, and whole life. And some, some of that is up to us. Yes. Yes. We're, yes. we're so sick. You know, we're sick with diabetes. We're sick with heart mm -hmm. disease. We're sick with all of these things. And much of it really is because of what we put in our mouths. Yeah. And so we're going to be talking about how to eat healthy, how to have those healthy drinks like the smoothies, using the Nutribullet. Mm. I think there's another one out there called the Ninja. Mm. But how do we work with God, work with the Spirit of God so that we can be healed and whole? You know, God can heal us one day, but if we go back and do that very same, same thing, yes. then that same thing yes. would come back up on us, mm. you know? So we have to be wise. We have to, be, you know, God it just really wants us healed. Oh, my. He wants us healed. Oh, that's so good. that's going to be, the conference that's Pastor mentioned is July 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. The 23rd is a Saturday that night at 6.30 p.m. We're going to have the Healing Cafe. I mean, it's beautiful. If you, if you ever, if some of you out there may have come to the first one, we have candlelight, we have tablecloths, 
we have flowers, just mm -hmm. a healing atmosphere yeah. where people, you know, some people won't step into a church, yes. but they'll come into this nurturing healing environment. Yes. And so we say invite your family, invite your friends. You know, many of us have children that aren't saved. Invite your children. We have other relatives that yes. are not saved. Invite them out. This is a night where they can come out and really feel that healing, nurturing environment, and they're free. Uh, there's no pressure. Uh, they can just come and, you know, get some of the samples of the food, enjoy the music, enjoy the cafe atmosphere, enjoy the prayer room, and hopefully, as Pastor likes to say, they will bump into Jesus while yes, they're there. Yes, Now, yes. just like if they, you know, want to stop smoking, you said smoking cessation. We have a smoking, smoking cessation table, yeah, yes. And they, they want to stop smoking, they can get information on absolutely, that. You know, absolutely, absolutely. And if they want to, and, and mm -hmm. after they get the information, maybe they want to get prayed for. Absolutely. And sometimes, you know, they can get prayed for, because mm -hmm. that's been years and years ago, you know. I got prayed for, and God took the taste from my All right, <laughs> now. And, and he'll yeah. do it again. He'll do it again. You know, when you're young and stuff like that, sometimes kids, get caught up in that and they can a young teenagers you and, know and they can't break and, and free they, and God can break them free yes. he can right. he can uh -huh. he can because yes. when they find out what it'll do to your body because some of them don't realize it's young so I'm saying bring mm -hmm. some of those young people there mm -hmm. and they can see because they're going to have information to show we don't have information mm -hmm. and that's the same uh, as with substance abuse, substance abuse. Yes. Yes. so right. many of our community members they're hooked on right. different yeah. kind of drugs Mm. on alcohol, mm -hmm. and it's just wrecking havoc mm -hmm. in the family, mm -hmm. yes. you know. So they can come. They can get information about how to break free and also get that prayer, That's right. that anointed That's right. prayer. That's right. What happens in this healing cafe is there's an anointing, That's and right. we know the anointing can break every, every yoke. yoke. That's right. And so if people come, get prayer, you know, get the information, eat some, some good food, mm -hmm. and <laughs> just, it's just a truly healing atmosphere. Amen. And with the music, you know, yes. Christian music. Uh, yes, with, yes. And the uh, uh, healing atmosphere, cafe uh, atmosphere, the cafe Christian at cafe. Yeah. Oh, that sounds great. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. Praise God. That's, did you have any questions, Bishop, about mm -hmm. it? No. I, they, they explained it pretty well. And uh, yeah. okay. I, I, as I say, I, I've been around, and uh, it, it's, it's great. All right. Yeah. Pastor Irvin is a spiritual man, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he, he, he has been uh, sent by God, and, and he is uh, flowing in his purpose that uh, nobody mm -hmm. else can do what Pastor Irvin can, can do, yes. because he has been ordained to, to carry this ministry, and that's what God gave him. His, that's the ministry that God gave him. Mm -hmm. Praise and God. We all have different ministries, but they all... Uh, intertwined together because we are reaching the masters of people for Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he put it out for the community and we have an opportunity to become a part of it. Yes. And on the 21st, 27th, and the 23rd, he's having all these people. Somebody's coming from Nigeria, that's in Africa, yes. and other states, Puerto Rico, and all, and they're having all kind of materials and, and it's just a minute cost of a fee to cover some of the costs. And I think they get breakfast and lunch. lunch. Uh, all three days, yes. and I mean this. I'm telling you, uh, 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 you you're gonna miss a treat. Yes. So we just uh, uh, don't adjure there. you, uh, mm -hmm. encourage you to mm -hmm. come out and enjoy this leadership conference. And we really need. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to go now. <laughs> I'm gonna try to give some of our members an opportunity to go too. You know, to uh, uh, this, this, uh, uh, and, and these subjects uh, uh, are so apropos. Yes, you know, for yes, for today, yes, uh, uh, and, and, and yes. it's greatly needed. Yes, sir. I, I was sitting here thinking too, as we were talking here, is that one of the reasons why people need to come is that many of us have lived our lives with masks. Yes. You think about it. We have been taught to wear a mask all our lives. Yes. We, in public, whoever we're doing. And, we, and what's behind that mask mm. sometimes never get revealed. Right. And I believe that God wants to rip the mask off. All God right. wants to get us back to being free. That yes. we please Him. And it's not about trying to please the world. It's not about trying to make people like us. It's about having a relationship with Him. Amen. And we walk out the door and we put our mask on yes. and we go about doing what we're going to do. And the behind the mask sometimes is so much hurt yes. and so, so much, much pain, pain. Yes. that we've tried to hide. Mm -hmm. we, 
paint that smile on our face, yeah. and we're hurting and we're miserable. Uh -huh. yeah. But to be able to go someplace where you can take the mask off, uh -huh. you don't have to be anything for God. Oh, you God gonna love you anyway. Uh -huh. You get to come to Him and you get to say, Lord, here am I. I'm a mess. Yeah. I'm a mess, but you'll take me because you'll clean me up. You'll fix me up. Mm -hmm. We get to do that. We get to rip the mask off and we get to finally be us. Yes. Not what everybody want us to be, but who God made us yes, to be. Hallelujah. And so I, I, I'm pushing it because I want to see people, this integrity, I want to see people being able to walk out of there yes. free yes. and feeling like I don't have to turn yes. around and make yes. people like me. Yes. I need God to yes. like me. I need to do what God want yes. me to do. Mm -hmm. And if I'm doing that, I don't have to carry that other weight yes. on me any yes. longer. Yes. Finally, yes. I can know what it's like to yes. be free. Yes. Oh. Yes. Hallelujah. So. Hallelujah. That's Hallelujah. so true. We can pull the mask off. Amen. Yes. I tell you, and be what God would well, have that's us right. to be. Yes. Yes. Free. Free. Yes. When we're Freedom. free, we can flow in the purpose that God ordained us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, we are members of one body. That's right. But every member don't have the same office. There you go. That's right. That's we, exactly. we are in the same body, but we're doing different things, but it's all making the body work. That's right. Amen. 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 The mouth, mouth eats, the ears hear, the eyes see. There That's you right. go. The feet they, walk. They, <laughs> <laughs> it's all, all keeping the body in sync. That's right. So Amen. if we all do our part, then mm -hmm. the body of Christ can, can flow freely, oh. and people can be who God ordained them to be, not, not what... What, what they That's think right. people want them to be, uh, acting like somebody else, but to be yourself. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yourself. Amen. Yourself. And know that it's okay. Mm. And know that and it's, it's okay. That's right. It's That's okay. right. That's it's okay. right. That's right. How about Shata? That's right. Yes. And you know what? It's okay to cry. If you're yes. in pain, it's okay. Yes. That's Let right. it out. Let the That's pain right. out. Let the light of God in so That's that you can right. receive that healing. Amen. And you know, as, as I was sitting here, I was thinking, we're charging a small fee, but we don't want anybody not to come because yes. of the right. fee. That's so God right. has laid it on my heart. Yeah. If four people that can't afford it want to come, I'll cover the fee. Yes, yes. I'll cover yeah. the fee. I think God has blessed me enough. I'd be willing to help somebody out there who yeah. want to come, but maybe. Yeah. We don't have the, the yes. funds to come. Yes. Call yes. us anyway. We want That's you right. there. We want That's you right. there. Don't let that keep you. Don't away. let yes, that Lord. keep. Don't let That's that keep right. you from your healing. Yes, That's Lord. right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We want you there yes. because Jesus wants you to be free. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because He loves you the way you are. He said, "Come unto me." Oh, Say Matthew hallelujah. eleven twenty eight. Oh, oh, ye that labor and are heavy laden, and oh. I will That's give right. you rest. Hallelujah. Take That's my right. yoke upon you and learn, and learn of me. That's Hallelujah. Abba, thank yeah. you, Jesus. Yeah. My yoke is easy. Hallelujah. Abba, and my burdens Ooh. are light. Thank uh -huh. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Just thank come and let it. Yes, Let it all sir. hang out. Just yes. give it to him. Yes, oh, sir. thank yes. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. I just feel that. It's going to be an atmosphere there. Yes, yes it is. Where well, you can just come, just yes. come, just come. Yes. You can come there anywhere. Restoration Urban Ministries, you yes. can always go there That's and right. feel, feel free. You can yes. go there anyway. Yes. Praise God. Isn't that right, Bishop? Amen. Praise, Amen. God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Praise just like God. you can come to Jesus. I'm going to just say, nah, uh, you want to just tell him to come. Praise the Lord. There is only one important decision in your whole life that needs to be made. And that decision is saying, Lord, I need you and I'll come. Now, I know people got all different kinds of prayers to pray, but here's what I found really works. Yes, Lord. I need you, Lord. Hallelujah. Help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Help me. I may not get yes, all my, my theology correctly. Yes, I may not bring up the part where you mm -hmm. died from my sins, and I may not remember you rose on the third day, but God, help me. Yes. Just help me. Help yes. me, Lord. Hallelujah. You open up my eyes. You yes. let me see. Yes. I believe that if you'll call and says, God, I want to be saved. Yes. You'd yes. be surprised what God will do. Yes. And just receive him. I mean, just simply receive him. Yes. And he'll do what he does. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. What a healing, Jesus. I found in you. Hallelujah. We'll see you next week. What are you? Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus.
Yes, you are. Come to the Healing Cafe. Amen. Come. Healing Jesus. I found in you, Lord. We want to see you at the leadership conference. You are a healing Jesus. Yes, you are. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God is good. He is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, thank you for is. coming. Yes, Ooh, that was good. Mm, I feel him. it. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Right. It takes some restraint not to take off. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I feel like running. That's right. Ooh. Hallelujah. Ooh. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Mm. I'm so glad God wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> thank yes, you. Lord. Mm. He wanted me. Yes. Good. Thank you for well, well, Thank you. 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 Thank you.